Hello everybody, I am back. Sorry for the delay, I got a few videos coming. We're gonna start with this box opening here in a minute. But first, some things coming up. We're gonna open up this set. I know we did a Facebook Live video um, on this set, but I haven't opened it yet. And uh, there's some really neat cars in this Majorette set, so I'm gonna open that up. I was debating it, I put it on the blog asking, I think the consensus is to open it, and sure enough, yeah, of course I'm gonna open it. My debate is over. Uh, n another thing, if one of you asked about this particular BMW, I know that um, there's a few things you ask about that I put in the background. Um, one is this BMW, I got that question. This was issued in a German toy show um, by Matchbox, it's a Matchbox produced model. Uh, pays homage to the, uh, what is it, the um, the CSL, 3.0 CSL, actually that's a Hot Wheels model this year, but that's what the uh, the Deco is, and this was issued in limited numbers at this German toy show. I really like the BMW 1M, I know it says M1, uh, I saw so sometimes you say, oh, Matchbox got that wrong, that was a big error. Actually, no, this is what BMW asks them to do. Um, I don't know if it's still in play, but I know uh, one of the BMWs coming out is still 1M. So that is what that model is. Um, I think I've shown this one before, but I get a ton of questions on this one. This is the um, Ignition Models 143 scale Kenmary Skyline. Uh, I might be showing more of these. Um, I'm trying to get a couple, trying to acquire a couple, and uh, I might show a couple of these off. I think they're for sale at Japan Booster, um, at japanbooster.com. They're not cheap, but they are very, very cool. So. Anyway, let's get to uh, the nuts and bolts. Oh, one other one. This is a Gran Turismo set. Um, as you can see right there, the assortment. Um, we'll open that too. I know we've gone through the Gran Turismo in the past, but if you want to see what the case looks like, um, we'll get to that uh, in the coming days. H case from Matchbox. There's some good stuff in here, at least from what I've seen. We did the case report on the blog, lamleygroup.com. Uh, just go on there to see that. and. Um, here is the unboxing video that we'll do as well. This case came from a j Toys, as all of them do, and um, they're actually committing to do more Matchbox. A lot of you have uh, asked about Matchbox cases and how to get them. Um, you know, distribution is tough, that's, uh, that's for sure, and so one way to guarantee you get these models um, is to order a case from a j Toys. They price them, uh, I think, very fair. Shipping does vary, of course, because there's different places they go, but uh, I would definitely look into that, especially in case L. A lot of people are interested in the uh, Nissan Skyline that is coming out, and we all know that once it hits the pegs, the first person to get it's going to arrive is going to be the first person to pick those up, whether there's one or two in the case. So I would say order an L case and uh, guarantee that you get whatever is in that case. That is when the Skyline is coming out. So. Anyway, here is the H case. Enough of all that goofy stuff. It is it is packed the exact same way that the uh, that the last one was, with cars stacked on top of each other, and then one row of models. So we're going to start from the top of the stack and go three by three, um, and we'll see. As always, we're always wondering what models get the uh, the duplicates and what don't. So I'm going to move this up just a tad. All right, so starting from the top, the Runway Wrangler, the Geo Rescue, and the Hard Nose. I believe all of those are from the previous batch. Could be wrong, but I think they are. Next group, the uh, from the top, the F550 Super Duty, the Seed Shaker, and the Blockade Buster. So I think. Is this a recolor, the Seed Shaker? It might be, but I don't really care. I don't, um, Blockade Buster, again, another model that I don't pay too much attention to, um, so I don't know if this is new in this assortment or not, but uh, for those of you that like the tanks, that's there. And then lastly, the uh, F550 Super Duty. I actually like this one. I know some people may not like the red base and the rear white. I know if it were a different color, like even gray, it might be a little bit better, but I like it with the white wheels and uh, that uh, it almost looks Spectra flying the red, but uh, I don't know if it really is. I guess when I take some pictures of it later we can we can find out. But I've always liked this model. I think it's a good one. Um, I could see people have an issue with that white grill and the white rear. I get that. So, um, 
That's that. Next group. Okay. Ford F350 Superlift. The Matchbox Moving Van, which is a repeat. I know that's been uh, popular. I've seen a few people showing that on Instagram. And the Corey King. Um, let's look at the uh, Super Duty or the Super Lift. Sorry. And actually, they're both you know similar trucks. The um, Super Lift and the uh, F550. So the Super Lift. You know, I, I one day maybe I'll compare the two. I think they're actually very similar in size. You know, they're different in how they in their lift and everything. But um, yeah, they're. They're actually a good, good uh, dual models. Oh, it is hard to get these out on the when they're stacked one on top of the other. Okay, Ford Transit news van, the El Paso news. Uh, we learned that that is a Miguel Lopez design because that's where he's from. Um, below that is the BMW R1 200 R1200 GS in a military. It's kind of like a military police livery, yeah, because it's there on the on the base right there. So I can move that in a little bit. Um, and the Dodge A100, always a crowd favorite. And it looks good. It's I know it's uh it's uh the blue base, the red bed, and interior. But this was this is another Michael Heralda design. You know we've had the what the Ford Fiesta. In Hot Wheels, and we've had the uh, Quick Sander, right? The Quick Sander from Matchbox, and here's your support vehicle, the support team um, for that livery. I don't know if we're going to see this livery again. Oh, we also had um, that one jungle vehicle, but I can't remember what it is. But I think that looks good. I think it adds nicely to the Dodge A100 collection. It's always going to be a popular model. I think we'll see it in line fairly frequently. Okay, I believe the rapid rescue there at the bottom is a repeat, and then the so the Max Matchbox van. I know it's a food truck, but um, yeah, I don't know. Um, you know the interesting thing about this model is it was reversed to fit the uh, direction of the packaging, so typically. A food truck would have the food side of it on that side, um, but because of the orientation of the models, so you can see it's blank on this side, but it is actually on this side. So they did it backwards. Um, I'd say you can just put it the other side and make it face the other direction. I don't know if there's any rule that says you can't. Um, so there's that. If you can hear my dog, I apologize for that. Um, and then the Questor. I think that's new for this batch. Last of the uh, laying down models. I don't think we've seen any, any duplicates yet, so uh, we'll see what those end up being. So we have the uh, international um, truck, armor, armored truck, the travel trekker. We've seen both of those, and I think we've also seen the national parks livery on the scraper, which I think is cool. And uh, if you're not collecting the national parks vehicles, Definitely do. I think the next batch or the batch after that will be the um, the Dodge Ram coming when that in that livery, and that's a cool one. All right, here's our first duplicate. I don't think anyone's going to get too excited about it. It's the Dirt Destroyer, which is a new model, um, and the Matchbox Coupe, which may be new for this batch. At least that livery. I don't. I <laughs> I don't pay attention to that model. Um, I don't know if many of you do either. So the Dirt Destroyer. Well, we'll say, okay, because it is a new model, you can see why it gets the duplicate, but I would say the Dodge A100 would be a better duplicate uh, in this case. So this is one of those four-wheel tractors, except it only really has two wheels on it, and just built into the base is that kind of, um, I don't know if you can see that, but built into the base is uh, like a, four other wheels, but they don't move. So... Um, I don't know how much that looks like a four-wheel tractor. I should probably pay more attention. All right, last models in this 24-count case. I think these are the ones that will interest you the most. Is the, uh, well, I mean, I don't know if this one will, the Terraniac. Uh, that's, I believe, new for this batch, but I could be, no, I think it was in the last batch. But I think you are more interested in these two. So 
kudos to the team for putting these two as the, or this model as the duplicate as the other duplicate. It's the other new model. It is the Volkswagen Transporter uh, cab, and um, let's just uh, take a look at that. I'll put this one down. Um, yeah. So a couple of things about it. I'll move in just uh, quickly here. All right. New model. I think it looks really good. I think we'll see a lot of different liveries, a lot of a lot of different colors on this one. This one's an interesting start because it is uh, Gary's Bike Tours, and um, if you know who is uh, heading up the Matchbox team right now, then that would make a little sense to you. Um, wheels are. I know some people have hoping that the disc wheels would be on there. Um, I'll try to get this in focus. There we go. Uh, but this one starts with the rarely seen uh, six-spoke wheel and uh, to give it a little, I guess, a sportier look. So, uh, I don't know what the next livery or the next color to be on it, but I like this color. I like the color of the wheels on it, and I think it's a good start uh, to the model. also has a uh, reference to their Instagram page that if you're not on it, you should be, because that's where all the, uh, that's all where all the little sneak peeks are coming from these days, and I'm sure there's bound to be a lot more as we move towards the Matchbox gathering. So, um, there it is. That is the H case. I think it's a decent case. Um, two new models get the duplicates in this case. Um, I think that transporter is going to be a very popular model. Um, let me know what you think of this case. And uh, relative to some of the other cases, I still don't think what was it was two cases ago that we had the Miata and the Evoque and all those, and those really that was a that was a fantastic case. Anyway, there we go. We'll be back soon. Talk to you later.